We are at Primitive Times in Spencer, and we are here with the owner, Karen, and Karen is going to show us a little bit about her store, and well, tell us a little bit and show us around a little bit. Okay, I sure will. Yeah. What you just saw, we came through our home, which mm -hmm. is just across the foyer here. Now we're on the opposite side of the house in Primitive Times, which is six rooms. Um, I've been in business now, going on 27 years. 90% handmade in America, primitive antiques sprinkled throughout the entire shop. A lot of it made by local artisans, which I love, but very primitive, very old fashioned in design. We're now standing in what I call the keeping room. Uh, keeping room is a keeping room because it has a fireplace in it. Years ago, the keeping room was the center of the home. There was usually a bed in it. There was a fireplace. If someone was sick, they were in the keeping room. Food was brought into them, so I have an artificial fireplace in here, and I just built this a keeping room, and it works out very well. Okay, so this is the keeping room. Yes. Yes. The shop consists of a keeping room, okay. the eatery or kitchen. Uh -huh. Off the kitchen is a linen candle room, and on the second floor is a tavern room and a bedroom, which we may not go up there today, but that comprises the shop. Then I have what I call the middle room, which is where the cash register is. Okay. And I try to set each one up to look like one of those rooms in your home and put items in there that typically would go into your eatery or go into your linen room or into your tavern room and keep things as close as I can to give you decorating ideas as to what to do with the things. But this, I, I just love having a shop over here. That is clever. And what made you open a shop? Well, for 12 years, uh, I did the typical really nice craft show for made handmade primitive Santas and pieces all year long. Okay. And I was selling in a couple of local shops in addition mm -hmm. to working full time and I got burnt out. And when I bought this house, I decided that I wanted to have my own shop. So I opened up 26 years ago upstairs in one room, which is now two rooms, turned into now the tavern room and the bedroom. And here we are 26 years later. I've been retired now for 10 years. This is my life being in here and I still have people contact, I stay busy, and I just, I love doing this stuff. And it's the hunt, because now I bring in antiques, mm -hmm. which I started doing about six years ago. Okay. And I usually do all my own picking, except for one dealer that's in here with me. But I do my own picking, so I'm only looking for different things, new mm -hmm. things, even the handmade items. It's looking for different primitive things, so you always, there's always something new. Right. and always something different and unique out there. And you meet the nicest people, whether it's the vendors, yeah. the artisans, whether it's the customers that come in here, they are so nice, mm -hmm. warm, cold, and they become so many friends, not just customers. And now I've brought in my brother's artwork, which is over here. He's retiring in January after 48 years with Sikorsky helicopter, and he asked if he could do a primitive oil paintings for the shop. Aww. He always liked painting, didn't mm -hmm. realize he had the talent until a number of years ago, and his talent is phenomenal. Not just in primitive, he does all genres. Mm. So he's now selling the primitive designs in here. He's already sold three of his pieces. He's only been in here for a couple of months. Fantastic. So there'll be new pieces mm -hmm. as we continue, but his work is it's just something different for the shop too, because I've lost nine vendors this year mm. due to age, health, the economy, mm. they can't get the, the wrong mm. woods. So this is just bringing something different in, and mm. my brother and I are having the absolute best time with this. Oh, that's so wonderful. I'm giving him old barrel staves. He's doing mm. painting on barrel staves. Um, he is. He did have a girl that came in here the week in my open house, mm -hmm. and my old tie gathering is going to commission him mm -hmm. to make a piece from a, a building in Sutton, Massachusetts, where we were all brought up. Wow. So that's going to be really cool for him when he does that. Yes. So I hope he really continues to do well with us because he's really a sweetheart. Oh, that's I, wonderful. I just love him to death. And it's just, it's some great different pieces. And it's so nice to work with your brother. Absolutely, yes. And I named his business when he first asked to do it. I, I told him it needed a name. And immediately I said, I said, it's going to be called From My Brother's Hands. Oh. He loved it. I loved it. Customers love it. So that's what his name is on the. <sighs> Primitive genre going forward. That is so yeah, wonderful. It's, it's awesome, and we've already talked about different ideas for the spring. Mm. So when I'm going to be closing on uh, the 18th of December. I'll open in April next year, which is something new for me to do. I did it because of the pandemic, but I've decided now this year with the economy, high home heating, oil, and various issues, I'm going to take some downtime. 
So he and I have already talked about different ideas and things he's going to do, not just on wood, yeah. but some different venues for when we open up again in April. So stay tuned. Wow, great. Yeah, some new designs coming. Great, great. <laughs> different ideas, different items. And again, I did the same thing with a little buttery in here. This was another closet door. Oh, I took yeah. Off. It's amazing how people buy out of this little area. Well, they you're standing right it. here to shop, you know, and you're standing here in line and then you go, oh, isn't that cute? Exactly. They absolutely love that little area. And for people that haven't been in the house, yeah. again, it just shows them, just take a little closet, yes. a little area. And yes. you can turn it into your buttery. Because not everybody gets to go through the house. No. No. Right. We're doing what I call the eatery or the kitchen. Right. At one point, this was an in law apartment over here. Oh. So this is the kitchen. Uh, Rich made this dry sink because behind that is the washer and dryer hookup. Oh, wow. So he made that dry sink to cover that. Mm -hmm. um, the sink is still all in here with the plumbing, which I just cover and camouflage it. Mm -hmm. And I just, you know, this is a perfect little spot for the kitchen, so I try to keep pieces in here that you could use in a kitchen, even though they could go in many rooms of the house. Right. I just had a girlfriend come over and redo this room last winter when I was closed, and I love the new colors, and so does every room that comes in here. Oh, yeah, it's very bright, beautiful. It's very bright. This mm -hmm. is, um, it's called Farmhouse Okra. It's through the, um... California paint line, the okay. historic line, and I just love the color. It brightens mm -hmm. it, but it also makes the room feel so much bigger than what it was before. It does feel a lot bigger. Yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah it does. So it was really, yeah. it was a good color choice to get that done. And we should tell everybody that you have just been having a sale going on right now, right? 30% off Christmas items? Yes, I do. Yeah, yes. I had my Yuletide gathering, and I did a shop hop with my girlfriend, mm -hmm. um, Kara, that owns Pea Blossoms Primitives in Brimfield. She won't be open again until next year, only when we do shop hops. But after I get through those two weekends, I decided as a thank you to everyone, and uh, a Merry Christmas, that... Until I close December 18th, which is this Sunday, all remaining Christmas is 30% off. Wow. And I had a lot of customers in last weekend that were saying thank you, and they said, otherwise I probably wouldn't have bought this extra gift, or I wouldn't have bought this extra Santa for myself. Mm -hmm. So it made me, it's a great way for me to thank everyone. You know, without all these people coming through, I wouldn't be here. Right. And this yeah. is a perfect way to thank everyone and give them a nice percentage off. Yeah. Kind of make them feel a little bit better and bring something home for themselves or something else. That's so nice. So it's worked out very well. So one more weekend, come visit Friday through Sunday. Friday through Sunday, That's guys. It. Probably the Santas are pretty cleaned out, huh? <laughs> yeah, the Santas are. There's, there's still a lot of nice things around the shop through all the rooms. Lots of gingerbread men. Yes. And, you yep. know? There's, yeah. still, there's still a lot of Christmas. There is a lot of Christmas. Some nice choices people yes. can still get. Whether it's for their own home or that extra gift, whatever they'd like to do. Yes. And again, it's it's all handmade in America. Yeah, beautiful. 90% of that is what's in here. And that's that's what I've always wanted. I was brought up in a house where we were all taught to hand make things from an early age. I wow. was making Barbie doll clothes. was the first thing my mother taught me to do. Oh, I did that too. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yep. exactly. Those teeny little arms. Yes. And everything. Yeah, yes. I know. God bless us for doing that. But we got through it, right? <laughs> yes, we did. Yeah. So I love the handmade look. And it's it's the only way to get this very primitive design is to have it handmade. Yes. You know, and so, and it, and it gets... You're such friends with the artisans. Right. You know, hi, Karen, how are you? You know, how you doing? How's Ava? How's Rich? How's everything going? Yeah. It's not, what is your, your customer ID number? Oh. Not, there's nothing wrong with that. No. 
that's a whole different mm -hmm. you know genre of product but mm -hmm. I'd much rather the hi how are you kind of thing yeah. and I'm glad everything's going well yeah and again it gives me a chance to bring in a lump but change all products all the time because right. it's handmade they don't want to do 50 or 100 of it right they want to do two or three of this Santa three or four of this one two or three of this when that's gone mm -hmm. they're making more but it's a whole different look it's still mm -hmm. very primitive yeah. So girls have learned over the years that if they really want it, you better buy it when you see it because it might not be there your next trip. So true. <laughs> so <laughs> true. Yeah. Yeah. Like I saw a few Santas I saw were on sale and I thought, well, if they're still there when I come. I yeah. Know, ha -ha. Right? right? Yeah. And this is my linen in the candle room. This is getting very sparse this time of the year. Mm. But I decided that I wanted to keep things in here that would go with linen. So I put... Mm -hmm. wool things in here. I keep all kinds of candles in here. And it's a good size room mm -hmm. to, to do a lot of different things in and work different things into this room. Yeah. It is. It is a nice size room. It's very nice. Because I think there was something in the middle of the floor for a while. There a was. table there or was something? A, I had a very early table here and then the table sold and then I put a sawbuck table in and that sold and then I put a couple of pieces in and those sold. <laughs> We're getting near the end of the <laughs> I'm not going to go one more oh, weekend and then during oh. the winter I'll be out antiquing again and just reworking every room so it will be open fresh. Sure. In April. Yeah. It's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you. Well, Karen, thank you for taking it's first us so for this tour. You're so welcome. Anytime anyone is in the area, we're only 15 minutes away from Sturbridge, mm -hmm. you are welcome. Come visit anytime. Oh, yeah. I On the weekends, it. right? It's, Friday, Saturday, mm -hmm. and Sunday. Yes. Right. I do special appointments. Uh, if you're coming in for vacation mm -hmm. and you know ahead of time when you're going to be here, since I'm retired now, I have the capabilities of doing that. Just private message me through Facebook if we're already friends on Facebook, and we set things up that way. I do a lot of special appointments, which is kind of nice because you have your own personal private shopping experience. Yeah. If you want a cup of coffee, don't be afraid to ask. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Well, everybody, oh. come to Primitive Times because it is a wonderful store, and I Thank can tell you, you that my house is furnished for Primitive Times Christmas. Thank you. <laughs> and again, Merry Christmas, everyone. Have a very nice New Year. Enjoy your family time. Merry Christmas. Thank you.